Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh Gupta and we will be creating a new project in which we will be making a cool menu bar for the website. So let's get started. First of all create a new project and give a suitable name like menu bar and I have selected ASP.NET web application for this project and select OK. By default, we'll have a two configuration file, but for working, we need uh, to add more files, which can be done by right clicking on the project name and click on add. And first, the file to be added will be a style sheet file. Give uh, any specific name which you want, and we'll have to add a web page too, and that can be done the same way as a web form and we'll also give it default name and once that are ready we can have a look at both the pages they are and let's get started uh, go to the ASPX page and click on source button now we'll give this div a class with name nbbar And below this I'll paste my unordered list which is indirectly my menu items and the sub menus will be this project 1, project 2, project 3 and project service 1, service 2, service 3, service 4, service 5. Once we are done with that, that's all for HTML coding. Now we'll head to the CSS coding. So let's get started. First of all, we'll check our preview of how this initially looks before any coding. And we can see that it has bullets and it's not aligned very well. So let's get started with uh, giving styles. So first, I'll use a class selector and apply the style to the unordered list inside this. And the first property I'm going to apply is this style which will be set to none now this property will remove all the uh, bullets from the list items and will also add margin property as 0 and padding as 0 too now uh, the result of this would be all the items uh, would be bullet free as well as they will be aligned in the same column and we can have a preview at them As we can see everything is going as per plan. So let's get to add further styles. Now we'll be using a class selector and the styles would be applied to the list item. Now I want my all main options of my menu to be floated to left side. So we'll add a float left property and I want all my sub menu items to be floated straight below the main menu items so i'll add float property to none now once that's been done we can have a preview at it as we can see it has been applied successfully however uh, there is a lack of space between the list items which will about to fix in a minute so let's do that on list items we'll add the width property and I'll set the width to 15% and uh, for the sub menu options I will specify a width of 120% once that's done we can have a preview at it again and we can see that uh, there's a quite good level of spacing between items now we'll add a text align property center and text align property as left and padding uh, sorry left would be about uh, 4 pixels now note that text align will uh, um, align the text inside the list item towards center and text align left will align the uh, words or text 
inside the <coughs> inside the sub uh, sub menu options towards left and the padding left property will keep a, a spacing of 4 pixel between the border and the text so we can have a preview at it and we can see the result in our preview now as we can see the text here is quite simple and we don't want so simple text for our menu as well as we do not want the underlining so we'll have to add another property and this time the property would be on anchor tags and the property would be font family family and you can select anything if you want but for this i'll use mario user interface verdana as and sans serif sorry sans serif and i want the color of my text to be black and let's have a preview at it once again now we can see that the font family uh, type has been changed and now we wish to remove the underlining between the fonts so we can do that by uh, setting the text decoration property to none once we are done with that we can view at it you can see the text has been underlined free successfully now i want uh, the background for my menu bar to be a uh, crimson color or oh, sorry gray color so we'll just a background color property set to gray and let's have a preview at it and we can see that uh, the color has become gray also i want a separator between these menu items main menu item so for that i'll be using the property border top property sorry border right property as one pixel solid white once we are done with that and we can see we have a separator like uh elements between the main options also we can see that also we can see that uh, here are the clickable uh, areas are only the links and not the entire bar so in order to make the entire bar as clickable for a single link we will use display block property and we'll set it for anchor links and we can check the preview and we can see that it is effectively running and the whole block is clickable for a single link like this now we need to extract the sub menus from the normal flow and place it below and keep a gap between the two and for that we'll have to place the upper elements that is project and services as relative and set these to absolute positioning and we can do that by the following method and for doing that we will set the we will set the position for list items as relative and we'll add a new selector set its position to absolute absolute and from top we will place it at 40 pixels and we can view it now in order to make such a triangular menu we'll have to add some specification in our html files and i'll show you that just take a look at it <coughs> like for example if i have sub menu 1 in the list so i added a div class sub 
and under the ul of that sub one i add in an arrow one class yep so as i was saying i have added a div class called sub one before the sub menu one and under the under uh, unordered listing item i have added another class div class as arrow one and similarly i have done for the sub menu two with the same specification and i have applied the following properties like i have set the width of my arrow one class to zero height to zero border left 12 pixel solid transparent border right since we have to make a triangle upward we will have to specify the left right and bottom properties and not the top property and the position relative and i have set it to right right side and similar specifications i have uh, provided for my sub menu 2 so the output of the following is like this now that we can see it's much below than needed so we'll have to change the configuration for li property so we can do that by the following code so where we had specified earlier the 40 pixel we'll have to reduce it to mm, 30 pixel and let's see if that matches our criteria so we yet need to get this up and so we'll specify up to 20 i guess and we'll do 20 and let's see the review yep we are almost ready to go with it as we know that this part must be hidden and it should not only be displayed when someone hovers over this uh, projects or services so in order to do that we'll do the following code we'll specify dot sub one so yes will specify the sub one property that is visibility as uh, false i mean hidden and similar properties for sub two and we can see the effect and we can see that the sub menus are no longer now we need to create an effect so that when a person hovers over these menu uh, the sub menu should be discovered so let's go for the coding for that part so let's create a class before the sub one class and call it as rb list and let's go for the coding so srv l i s t how then dot sub 2 visibility should be visible and similarly we will specify a class for project list p r j l i s t and we will specify that if someone hovers over project list then sub one should be visible visible now let's see the effect after this coding on preview we can see that when we hover over when we have over the, uh, the menus we get the sub menu displayed and the moment we take off the menus get disappeared now finally the one last effect that uh, will be adding when we have over the list item the background color should be something like crimson crimson and so once we are done that we can check the effect and we can see the effect <coughs> that 
that's all for my video thank you if you like the video please subscribe